Today, we're opening Konami's newest set, Cyberstorm Access. What's up, guys? We're back with another new Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. Today, we have two boxes of Cyberstorm Access First Edition, which should be releasing at your locals today, and it'll be you know, available everywhere in a couple of days on Friday. But before we hop into the opening, the giveaway is every card we pull in this video, I want this to be the very first time we pull a starlight out of one of these, you know, two early boxes for you guys so you guys can win it. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about Cyberstorm Access, and let's hop into it. So before we get into it, I want to read off the five starlight rares you can get in here just so you guys know because i know you guys like to know what all the starlights are so the first one is despian lulu Walith, or something like that i'm these names are kind of crazy so cut me some slack then we have the new firewall dragon singularity card so it's a new firewall card then gold pride chariot carry we saw that reviewing uh when revs pulled two on twitch we were reviewing his video he pulled two starlights in two boxes it was insane so we've, we've known that one for a while the guiding quem the virtuous starlight rare i don't know how you say that one and then the visa star frost is the new reprint or the legacy starlight so it's actually a pretty new card i think it's from difo maybe yeah not that old not like a crazy old one like we normally hunt but still some pretty cool cards in here so let's get into the opening funny enough the most expensive non-starlight card in here is a chaos card it's called chaos angel so potentially gonna be pulling some chaos cards out of here so it's actually a crazy good card obviously because it's the most expensive card but pretty weird to see like there's a coolia chaos cards be really good these days you know it's like whoa chaos is back yeah there's i mean you remember last set there was actually a lot of chaos cards as well uh what was the last set by the way it was uh i can't remember it was a side set right we got a nice oh maze maze yeah maze had some chaos was it maze wait that doesn't seem right didn't we have a, an April set? No, April set was, I can't remember guys, I'm losing it. I feel like the last core set was, there's a branded card, sign at circuit. Um, oh, a secret rare, Beastful Planet Calarium Secret. That is nice. This is all oh, apparently the second best secret rare. That's just how we do it. All right. According to pre-orders, remember guys, uh, the full like prices, everything's gonna really figure itself out on Friday once it's not just released in OTS stores. Keep that in mind. The TCG player is not going to allow any normal guys, normies like us to sell cards on TCG player. So there's going to be a lot less supply for these cards until Friday. Once Friday happens, that's when you can really figure out. This is a new Trap Tricks card uh, or the uh, it's like a man. I can't remember anything's name anymore. Oh, there's a Firewall Phantom. Cool. And then another super rare Trap Trick, not Trap Tricks. There's Trap Trick, the Trap card. That is the new one of those, the Trap Tracks. OK, uh, I'm already losing what I was saying. But yeah, Friday is when you need to actually check out the prices to figure out what they're going to be. We're going to have them popping up because, you know, for entertainment value and stuff like that. But keep in mind, a lot of the time they're going to be going down. What a B. What in the world? We got B movie action going on here. That is a wild looking card. All right, next pack. I feel like I was trying to say something earlier and trying to remember something and I can't remember what it was. So I guess we're not remembering it. What? Oh, yeah. Photon Hypernova. That was the last core set, right? There hasn't been one since then, has there? It was three months ago. Do they really like, wasn't that February? Wow, does it really take that long for new core sets? It feels like it doesn't, but I guess we had Legendary Collection in the middle. We had Side Set, Maze of Memories, Sweet Dreams. We had Dynamorphia, Phantom, Manadium, Fallen, Pig Iron. Oh, we got Pig Iron versus Pig Pin. That's a lit card. My contact is now going crazy all right next pack we have cyberstorm access we had some contact issues out of nowhere my contact yeah i don't know if you guys wear contacts you guys know the pain of like you're just sitting there everything's fine and then all of a sudden boom you can't see anything it's your contact is like falling out of your eye for no apparent reason so there's a votus i really like this card because it is such a short name it just reminds me of old school Yu-Gi-Oh. like it's like oh this card is like completely like randomly short name you know it's probably crazy good you know not nowadays it's like this it's uh the moisa knight the comet general and that's like a short name these days but then we got votus just a weird random name if it sounds like a fantasy name they just made up next pack all right we're, we're battling through the contact because right now it is very blurry my right eye is not seeing very well so we're just gonna have to do what we can we have a motorbike this is this is what you do guys look if you can play through injury in nba you know which they don't do uh but if some of them do there we go cherry carry very nice maybe it's like the playoffs here i can get through this i can battle through the opening we will see a starlight rare with one eye maybe not two pendulum moon we have the monk bunny ear enthusiast that is a space jam 2 card double hooking we have gungan ship and a kitsune and then the adularia of the june moon okay interesting stuff so far just is that just one secret rare and that's it besides supers which are guaranteed very interesting so we have not pulled like an ultra yet or anything we have reinforce 
We have Golden Cloud, Virtual World, Super Heavy Samurai. Interestingly enough, Super Heavy Samurai is crazy. If you noticed in my recent video where I pulled a Super Heavy Samurai Super Rare, Oh, another ultra, the gold pride. No, wait, no, we did pull. We pulled the captain carry. That's an ultra. But we pulled a super every samurai unlimited super out of, I think, core. It was seven bucks. And at the time I was like, why is this so expensive? It's because there's new support in the set. Super heavy samurai has pendulum cards, which yeah, pendulum guys. It's yeah, more pendulum. Okay, new pearly card. It's a common. So for all you pearly fans, very easy to get this time. Fallen. And then we have a kitty tail, mystical beast of the forest. Let's go. One, two, three, four. We have New Frontier, Nemelia, Kashtira, Hatsugia, Pig Iron, Virtual World, Sinet, Wanna Be. I don't wanna be anything. Oh, sorry. Okay, next up. Can we get a Starlight Rare? I've never pulled a Starlight when opening like the first two boxes, like we do on a Wednesday usually of the release date. I've never pulled a Starlight. So I would love to do that at some point. One, two, three, four. I mean, it'd be crazy because we always give away the pulls in the very first opening. So if we were to pull a Starlight and give it away, it'd be pretty cool. We have pulled a Ghost Rare doing this before. Another Pearly, an Ultra Rare, Manadium, Rum, Ryum Heart, Manadium. That reminds me of Palladium Oracle Mahan. But yeah, that'd be pretty awesome if that happened because uh, yeah, I think you guys would be hyped to be able to win a Starlight, you know, especially one that I pulled on the video. Super Heavy Samurai, more Super Heavy Samurai. Wow, a lot of Super Heavy Samurais in here. B Trooper, let's go! The Cruel Saturnus. Let's go, our B Trooper support is here. It's a fusion, you'll love to see it. We played a lot of the B Trooper stuff on uh, Master Duel because we were trying to Summon Pecanio Moth and the Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. You guys saw it in the 10-minute testing video. Go watch it. Yeah, it was an incredible video. I mean, definitely 100% our style of video. Not a meme or joke at all, for sure. Pearly Lee, Pearly Lee, Pendulum, and the S-Force Night Chaser. All right, Access, give us access to the Starlight. One, two, three, four, here we go. We want to ex access the Starlight. The problem with this set, I literally have not been able to remember the name. Cyber Storm, I always think it's Cybernetic, and I start saying Cybernetic, and I'm like, that just can't be right. They've already used Cybernetic Horizon Revolution. I was like, I don't think it's Cybernetic again, and I can never remember what it is, and I sit there for like 10 minutes. It's kind of like today, where I can't remember anything's name. And cut me some slack. It's pretty early in the morning, okay? Slightly early. So I'm trying to get this video out today. You, the day you see this, the day I recorded it. Yeah, there's a little bit of sleepiness involved, a little bit of a brain fog from waking up. Nate EM, we have Trap Tracks. Pig Iron versus Pig Ben, that's my favorite card. And then the Super Every Samurai Commander, Shanowo, super rare, very nice. All right, one, two, three, four. I don't know what, like when we do the Starlight Rare opening, I guess we're gonna go for the Star Frost. I guess we could go for the Firewall. I don't know, there's nothing like, oh no, here's my favorite card. How did Dai get here with Warrior Dai Greffer? This is an amazing card. Look at him, he's like, whoa, how did I get here? It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome, okay. Another cat, uh, cat chariot carry, whatever it's called just like revs, except both of his were starlights, so it makes more sense. So let me know which one should we go for, because normally there's a crazy starlight that we want, like Stardust or something like that. You know, it's old school, it's throwback. This time, not so much. Firewall's like, at this point, six years old, so a retrain of that's kind of cool. Wanna be anything other than a starlight and a booster pack. One, two, three, four. Uh, so yeah, I'm not totally sure what to go for. I mean, we're probably... I'm leaning toward those two that I mentioned earlier. We have Marissa, the Cybers, and a Protect Code Talker. More Code Talkers. As if we needed that. All right. Wow. Beat. Whoa. Beat up pack right here. Maybe that's a sign. It's an all Starlight pack that was replaced in the factory with all Starlights for some reason. I don't know why they would want to do that, but maybe they intended to come back and buy this booster box themselves. Pearly Lee. We have the Pearly Sweet Memory. Oh! the chaos angel and this is the best card that i was talking about a chaos card this card is amazing yeah this card's pretty insane the stats are crazy the effect is awesome so we have pulled the top two cards on the set officially and uh we're like halfway through or something maybe slightly past halfway through both secret rares have been insane so this is going to be a pretty good giveaway for you guys fusion duplication duplex we have pig pin Quinnery, Symphony, and the Wish, whoa, the Wish Dragon. This card's sick, Wish Dragon, I like that card. That might be my new favorite super. There's always a super I really like in these sets. I think Wish Dragon might've just taken the lead as my favorite super. That's a cool one. All right, let's see if we can pull more of it. We have Pendulum Moon, the Brightest Blazing, Gungatsu Ship, Pendulum, Imperial, Cyverse, and the Manadium Me. All right, yeah, so the guy at uh, Locals told me that he pulled Insane out of like just two packs. 
he pulled a Chaos Angel and uh, it was another uh, like new card that I didn't completely recognize, but he said it was apparently good. So apparently him just being around those boxes gave us some insane luck because it worked out. Here we go. We have the Dual Avatar, the Super Heavy Samurai, Manadium, Sword Soul, Cynet, Firewall, Sakatama, the Super Heavy Samurai, and the Super Heavy Samurai Brave, Masurawo. Very nice ultra rare. Super Heavy Samurais, they have Synchros in here, they have Pendulums in here. There's a lot going on with the Super Heavy Samurai stuff. And uh, so far, we've pulled a lot of it. We have another, there's more Amazement stuff in here, which I have not seen in a very long time since they're, what was their set they came out in? The Amazement Attraction and stuff like that. It was around, I feel like it was like 2021. It wasn't Donna Majesty, was it? Was it the set after that maybe? Amazement, Super Heavy Samurai, Pig Iron, Pig Pen, Etude, Pearly Lee, and the Harvest Angel of Doom. Super rare. Will we get, okay, so really only two secrets have been pulled, which is pretty wild. So we should get two more. Hatsugai, the Pearly Lee, the Double Hooking, the Virtual World, Etude, and a Bastille Dispater. That's a lot of ultras, I feel like, isn't it? A lot of ultra rares. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have Manadium, New Frontier, the Amazement, more Amazement, a Shatter, Pearly Sleep, Pendulum, Bunny Ear Enthusiast from Space Jam, Double Hooking, and the Manadium. Abscission. What are we at? Maybe 12 to 15 packs left. I'm just guessing because I'm bad at guessing. Here we go. We have Reinforce, the Nerly, the Shattered, Sword Soul Punishment. I wonder if that's a good card. Saluga, Saktima, Mausa, and Dreaming, <laughs> Nevlaria. There we go. Sounds like Malaria, that's kind of scary. Okay, we have Super Heavy Samurai, Sweet Dreams, Brightest, Manadium, Cyverse, Pearly, Masa, Sulfacord, and uh, Baromet, the Sacred Sheep Shrub. This is also a pretty awesome card. It looks like a Pokemon card. I'm not, at least the artwork does. Last probably quarter of our opening, and we still have two secrets, I believe. One, two, three, four. I don't think we pulled more than two. I'm pretty sure we just pulled the two good ones. Maybe we'll just pull them both twice, imagine. Bunny Ear, we got Looney. We got Etude and the Votus. And actually, Votus might be up there for my favorite super. That and the, what was the other one? Some kind of dragon? It's like a little dragon. I don't remember what it was. The Manadium Makunko, Amazement. A lot of different archetypes in here. It feels like Golden Trap Tricks, Soulful Cord. He's even Soulful Cord, Bee Trooper. It's like so many different like support cards for random archetypes. That's pretty cool. One, two, three, four. Bee Trooper's pretty epic. We have Makunko, Dynamorphia Impact, Huli. Pearly, Super Heavy Samurai, Double Hooking, How Did I Get Here? And another secret rare, Despian, Lulu Waylalith. Lulu Waylalith. This is a Starlight. This one, not right here, but this card can be a Starlight. This is like a $20 card at the moment, so one of the best secret rares in the set. It's not top three, I think it is. It appears to be the sixth best secret, but I also just noticed there's an ultra rare that's apparently really good the lord of swords is what i'm gonna say he has an actual name then the bestial disc that we pulled this card's like 16 according to this that's insane so oh it's bestial it makes sense wow there's actually big ultras in here so if we could get that lord of swords as well at ultras that are uh, the ultras this would be one of the best openings you can have out of this set cyber sage dream tower these have been really good boxes not gonna lie gold pride we got Fallen and the Dreaming uh, Malaria again. So a few packs left. Still another Secret Rare in here somewhere. So, I mean, uh, there's Secret Rare 3 through 5 that we could pull that we haven't pulled yet. Gungan Su Ship, Kitsune, Golden Cloud, and a Cynet Rollback. Coming now toward the end. Still Starlight as well. Haven't even thought about that. I mean, that would really turn this up. That would turn this up crazy. New Frontier, Gold Pride, Super Heavy Samurai, Gold Pride, Cybers, Firewall Phantom, Manadium. Manadium Meek. Give us a chance at the end to pull something crazy. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video so far. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more new Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, old Yu-Gi-Oh! openings, middle Yu-Gi-Oh! openings. I mean, literally any Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. Ice Jade. Okay, we know that's not good. It's Ice Jade, but maybe one day Ice Jade stuff will actually get enough support to be good. And then some of the cards will actually be worth something. Um, I'm not even going to bother looking at that one because I know it's not going to be great. We have Fallen. Pig Iron versus Pig Pin. Burly. We have Double Hooking and the Harvest Angel of Doom. We are down to, I think, six packs left out of 48. So we're getting there toward the end. We are down to one eighth of our packs. Suship, Manadium. We have Trap Tracks and the Bestial Lubra. I wonder if the Bestial Super is any good. I wouldn't be surprised because, I mean, you remember the original Bestials? They were super rare and so they were crazy money. They got up to 20 bucks for one of them and then like 12 for the other one. Shattered, Cyber Sage, Double Hooking, How Did I Get Here, Golden Cloud, Super Heavy Samurai, and the Ice Jade, the same exact Ice Jade card. Wow. It's really trying to turn this uh, opening from amazing to just not as amazing right now. That's what it's doing. One, two, three, four. I mean, that was like our first two bad cards in a row. <laughs> same exact card. Cyber's Fallen, 
Pig Armors, Pig Pen, Perla Lee, Double Hooking, and Teller Knight, Loran. Three packs to go. I dropped the pack. Don't worry. We got this. We will recover. We've been fighting through injury this entire time. One, two, three, four. Will there be a secret rare? I mean, I think we need one more, don't we? We have the dual avatar. Will it come down to the last pack? It could happen. Gunk and Sue Ship, Trap Tracks, and Super Heavy Samurai. Wow, it's coming down to the last two. Do we have a secret rare in the last two packs? Wow, this is going to be interesting. One, two, three, four. I feel like we always pull them early out of these, and it's this time it's not happening. It's a little bit later. We have Pendulum, Kitsu. That is a Super Ruxin special if I've ever seen one. And look at this artwork. This guy's awesome. Secret Rare, the Lord of Swords. Wait, I thought he was an Ultra. Oh, it's that's the sneak preview. That's what it is. It's the sneak preview Ultra. It's not actually pullable in the set. Makes sense. And apparently this guy is a terrible card. He's only two bucks, but he looks amazing. We'll take that. All right, our last pack. This definitely has a Starlight Rare, right? I'm not going to lie. That's probably one of my favorite artworks of the set so far. That guy looks really cool. Uh, we have Manadium, Super Heavy Samurai. Come on, last pack. Give us a Starlight Rare. Let's do it. Been a pretty crazy couple of boxes, so I can't complain. No way! A last pack Starlight Rare! No! This is insane! Our last Secret Rare was the second to last pack, and our last pack was a Starlight! And yes, this will be in the giveaway. Oh my goodness, you can't get much better than that opening. We got the best Ultra, the best two Secrets, and then a Starlight Rare with no price at the moment. So I don't know if it's the best Starlight, but either way, wow, what an opening. If you guys enjoyed this, you have to subscribe, guys. We're almost at 200K, and that was our best new opening yet. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.